Stencils are actually really easy to understand. They're just never explained in a way that is easy to understand. So basically the way they work is the first object renders and then it says, hey, I'm the white circle. And then the red circle says, okay, I'm not going to render anywhere where that white circle is. So if the red circle passes over the white circle, you'll see that the white circle is in front of it. The red circle is not rendered where the white circle is. So it's wherever is not equal to the white circle, the red circle can exist. And it's the exact opposite on this side. Wherever the white circle is, is where the red circle can exist. So wherever is equal to the white circle, the red circle renders. And that's all stencils are. So I'll give you an in Unity example of that now. All right, now that we're back in Unity, you can see the exact same thing as possible. Here's the red circle again, and there's the white one, and the red one can only render where the white one is not. It works exactly the same. We can go into a 3D view so you can see that these are just two spheres, and as you can see, the red one, okay, the background's kind of messing with it, but the red one only renders where the white one is not. And you can change that really easily. So if I go into the red thing and I say, instead of rendering where it's not equal, let's render where it is equal. And now you can see that the red circle is only rendering where the white circle is. And it's really just that easy. So let's go over this a little more in depthly. Grab this red circle, turn all of its, let's just reset it actually. Reset that one, reset this one, and let's cover the settings. So for this case, we want this left circle. Here, we'll make this one red again. We want this left circle to tell the red circle where it is, and then have the red circle react to that. So go into the white circle, go into the stencil settings. We want the stencil reference value well the stencil reference value is basically the value that tells the red circle where the white circle is so it can be anything you want let's go with 167 and then we'll say for the stencil compare function this basically this function says if it should run or not and we say yeah always run and then the stencil pass operation is what it does when it runs. So we want to replace whatever value is in this pixel with 167. And then when the red one renders, we want it to look for that 167. So we're going to type that here. And we're going to say to only render if it is not equal to that 167. And you can see it does it. So the white one is writing 167. It's always replacing its pixels with 167. So the whole screen is basically just a big like list of pixels. And then you can fill in your stencil value at, a, at any pixel where you render. So this is filling the pixels in this, within the sphere to 167. And then this one comes by and checks those pixels. But you may have an issue where it looks like this where you have all your settings correct okay it's going to work in this case obviously but <laughs> it may not always work because what's happening here is that the render queue for both the red and the white one are the same meaning they're rendering at the same time and one may not be rendered before the other one renders you can't control which order they render in so if say if the white one rendered second and the red one rendered first the red one wouldn't be able to look for the white one because it hasn't rendered yet. So you need to make sure that the thing that is being stenciled by the other thing renders after it. So you would just go down here to your render queue and increase it by one. So it's two or 2,451 and the white one is 2,450. So now it'll always render correctly. And you can change this to equal if you wanted to. So now it only renders where the white one is. 
and that's basically what you need to know for stencils. I'm not going to go through all of the stencil stuff because it is just basic Unity. If you want to know how stencil stuff works, like more than this, just go to the documentation for stencils in Unity. I'll actually leave a link in the description below if you want to check that out. And if you have any other questions about this or anything else I do, feel free to join the Discord. There's a link in the description below. Thank you for watching.